Well, hello there, beautiful people. It's your girl Lydia here, and I'm going to show you a really cool tutorial. First, we're going to start with just making a part around the perimeter of the head so that you can cover all the hair. Um, so, as you can see, it's quite thick, um, and this hair that I'm going to put in is really thick, so you need a nice thick perimeter around the head. And once you're done, just go ahead and braid that away so that it can just be out your way. Um, I love this hairstyle, it's so easy to do and um, took about an hour to do. So now I'm going to do a part that will be used to cover the hair that you'll see later. So just create a part in the middle of the head, a nice thick one as well. So now you've uh, laid the base and now you can start actually doing the hairstyle. So we're going to get some water that has a bit of aloe vera juice which is nice and moisturizing for uh, 4C hair. I'm going to spray that in really good because this is a protective hairstyle that will be in for ages. Got some Shea Miracle, uh, just simple water-based moisturizer. Love this because it's water-based and it just keeps the hair moist. I use a comb just to get through the ends of the hair but I finger detangled the rest of her hair. And then I'm just going to uh, part a row and use some Shea Butter, a Shea Butter mix we made which I will put in the description box of how to make. Uh, but just get that in really good and make sure the hair is nice, soft, and moist. Um, and then I'm going to part it in threes, three nice chunky parts. This is some Jamaican Locks um, crochet hair. It's, I think it's Marley hair. It's 30 inches long in the color 4. Um, and what we do is just take a, a piece and then you're going to just latch it onto the hair. So your hair would be sticking out as you can see. Latch it and just begin braiding. It's the easiest method of braiding. We do this when we do pick and drop or braids and twists and stuff like that. Just latching the hair on. Um, because Alma's hair is uh, quite long, it's not shrunk up or anything at this moment. I only did just a quarter of the hair uh, braided down and then I took a rubber band and uh, locked in that braid. It's not very long as you can see because if I went down the full way um, it'll take up more than half of the hair and it just wouldn't look right. So um, though this may seem like this is risky or quirky, um, it works. You'll see in the end. Y'all will see. Y'all will see. Then we are going to take the remainder of Alma's hair and we are going to twist it off. Um, this is awesome because it keeps the moisture in, protects your hair, and it blends with the kinkiness that's going on. You could even take twist out when it dries if you want. Um, but yeah, just twist it away and then it will start to get thicker as it dries. Um, but I thought that was the best option for longer hair. If your hair is medium or a short length, this protective style is awesome because you would only have to uh, stop where the rubber band is and not worry about the twisting. Um, but Alma really wanted this hairstyle, so um, I just had to like think of some random way to do that. And as you can see, here's the finished rose, including the twist, and it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. It looks cool to me. <laughs> so this is the second row done. And then we're going to take the hair that we parted off and I'm just going to gently comb it into the hair. What I love about uh, this hair is that it's kinky, it blends in amazingly and now we're just going to set it aside so that we can work on the top half of the hair. You could keep going um, if you don't want to do a top half style. Um, but I'm again just going to take a parting so that it will be able to cover the top of the uh, bun. And then just do the same thing on the top of her hair. Um, I only did about five rows in total for her whole head. This hair is really thick. Next time I would have done it just a bit thinner. Um, but yeah, here it is. Here's all the hair with the twists that have now gone chunky because they're so moist. And I'm going to take a loose the perimeter that we braided off earlier. And we are going to now work on blending it so that it looks natural and so 
I start by adding some light moisture, detangling it, and now I'm going to put it up. And as you can see from a front angle, here's the hair all down. And, and look how much hair there is at the top. That's just the top half, Lord. Um, so I think it'd be cool as well, like maybe to do some braids and dip it in hot water if you wanted to. But I just love the texture. So now we use some Eco Styler Gel, brush it up into a bun. And this hair is so thick, I didn't even have like a hair bobble or rubber band to hold it. So we're gonna braid, uh, just make a nice thick jumbo braid for the bun and then just twist it under until it makes a nice top bun. And if you want, use some grips to just pin it down. And um, we are hard done, y'all. Now we're just gonna put it, style it how she would like. She wants to go over her shoulders. Uh, yeah, you can see some shorter parts, but um, with a bit of gel, or maybe if you want it to go in, you could do some blow drying uh, to the hair or just stretch it um, the way you want to to blend in. But it just looks so cool, especially in person. Now we put some Eco Styler Gel, and after the Eco Styler Gel, we use the, um, what's it called? The gel, edge control. We use that edge control, the African Sheen one. Um, with 4C hair, as you know, it's super hard to gel your edges, so we have to use two. Um, I always feel like the edge control works better when you use um, like a juicier gel first. Now we're going to scarf it down because y'all know how it is. You can't just gel it and leave it or else it's just going to curl back up. And leave the scarf for, we left it for about 10 minutes here. You can leave it as long as you like. Pat down any bits that need patting down. And voila! Bonsoir! Voila! Croissant! <laughs> the hair is done! Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more or if you like this. Do you not like it? If not, be nice in the comments. Just say you don't like it, but be nice. We just thought we'd experiment and um, share it with you guys. Um, Alma wore this in her hair for about a week or so we took it out it only took an hour to do it's super cool so many people are asking questions in the street let us know if you tried it tag us and again you can always use some shorter hair to blend with yours but um yeah we had fun making this for you guys hope you have a great day bye